just going to be a quick unboxing of my Tamaya Blackfoot Extreme. I picked this up from Tower Hives for about 150 ships. Um, those that may be familiar with Tamaya knows that all their vehicles are just about 90% of them do come in a kit form where you do have to put it together. I know that this one comes um, pretty much somewhat assembled. I know they say the transmission is assembled on it. But um, I got this because I've always liked Tamiya. My first kit was a Monster Beetle. And I hope they actually do do a re-release on that. But I also like the way the Tamiya Blackfoot Extreme bodies look. Um, I know it's a little bit different than their the Blackfoot 3 and I think the King Blackfoot and Supreme Blackfoot body. So it kind of makes this one stand out a little bit. They've always done a good job on their boxing and also the the decoration of their boxes, kind of the way they lay everything out on it. So let's go ahead and pop this open and see what Tamaya's packing here. It's been years and years since I've actually had a Tamaya kit, so this will be um, an interesting build. Uh, they include a electronic speed controller. That's what this is right here. Um, probably won't be using this at all. This can handle... Uh, 7.2 volt nickel metal or NICAD battery pack and also I think a brushed and odor I think the spec set down to probably about a 22 turn brush motor but I probably won't even bother putting that in there I have a brushless system I'll go ahead and throw up in there so um, I don't know maybe put that on credit list and get rid of it uh, look in here oh they give you an antenna tube um, What's in this? It's pretty heavy. It seems like this is most of the screws and stuff that actually come in the kit. Let's see what's in this. Oh, this is the gearbox. Um, yeah, they pre-assembled the gearbox. Um, I'll probably have to take this apart and put ball bearings in it. Because, yep, you can see right there, it does have plastic, not even metal bushings inside the gearbox. So I'll have to disassemble this and put some ball bearings up in there. And, of course, the motor is definitely going to go. I may actually get it running as a brushed version first and then go ahead and make it brushless. But um, I'll decide on that in just a little bit. What else is in here? A um, couple other things. Mm, parts bag C. Another parts bag B. Mostly everything in here is parts bag. Here's the shocks. I heard these shocks are not the best in the world. Um, they are not oil filled. Um, and I did see a couple of videos where Blackfoot Extreme was running stock and it was pretty bouncy, but um, I'll look at this in a little bit and probably have to. I probably will upgrade the shocks as well, but I did kind of want to run it stock out the box to see how that runs. Oh, what else? Um, a couple of pieces, parts actually for the chassis and stuff. Um, part of the body, which is going to be the showstopper for me. Um, more parts. More parts. More parts. Uh, tires and wheels. Um, wow, these do not come with any foams in them whatsoever. So I may stop by Hobby Town and pick up some foam for these. What's interesting is this offset. I don't know if you guys can see that, but these tires or these wheels may actually fit on a Stampede 4x4. You know how the offset has to be a little bit um, wider in, like I think it's the RPM or it's the revolver wheels from RPM. I think it's RPM that actually have an offset to where this can fit on there. So I may have to see if these wheels can fit on my Stampede 4x4, and I may have to order a set of 2.2s for those. And last but not least, the body. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave this all black actually paint it. I may actually paint it. I'm not sure. But I may leave it black as well because it does look pretty cool black. But 
I like the way the body looks. Um, it is the ABS hard case, a hard plastic body. It's not Lexan's. And this is like a little window that actually fits inside the body. Um, it's got a little tint to it, so that gives it a little uniqueness. And the bumper, and I hope this is, yeah, the instruction booklet. And decals. Gotta love the decals. So, I'm going to look through this book real quick, um, see what kind of bearings I need to put on it because I have a whole bunch in the room, and start to build on this, and hopefully I'll have it built by the end of the night and get it up and running by tomorrow and probably take it to the track with a brushless system in it. I have a Castle 5700 KV uh, four-pole motor. It's not the 550 size, but the 540 size I'll put in it with the Mamba Max Speed controller. So stay tuned for a couple videos on this.